If you're thinking you already know what street creep is, because I'm a creep standing on the street, well, maybe the comment section isn't for you. But today we're gonna be talking about how to prevent street creep from happening. Remember, street creep means that a street wants to get longer year after year. So a long straight street can push on a garage slab, can push on a driveway slab, and push on the foundation wall. To prevent the bad effects of street creep, we have to provide relief or space for this movement to occur. Now, a lot of driveways already have expansion joints built in two places. One is against the garage and one is against the sidewalk. The problem is, is oftentimes these joints aren't built very well and they actually have concrete that passes under the expansion joint material. Even if the joints are built perfectly, they're rarely wide enough to accommodate the amount of movement that street creep can throw at it. Really what you have to do is call a professional who can fix it the right way. I'm talking about taking a concrete saw and cutting a wide slot in the driveway up to four inches wide. And that slot needs to be cut all the way down to the soil. Now this four inch wide joint should be filled with a flexible material that allows it to squeeze together or compress at least one and a half to two inches. That will allow your driveway to get out of the way and let the street do its thing. So if you live at the end of a T intersection or at the end of a cul-de-sac or even at a corner or on an outside curve, street creep should be something that you should want to investigate. Now, if you think you might be a little bit late in catching this, you might want to have your foundation wall looked at by a professional. In the meantime, do all the things. Click the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop a comment, we'd love to hear from you. I'm Kyle, this is Ask an Engineer. We'll see you next time.